Hello everyone, welcome to math class. I am Teacher Roy and I will be your mathematics teacher for today. I hope you will enjoy and learn something from me. Reminding everyone to please prepare a pen and extra sheet of paper for our activities today. So come with me and together let us explore Grade 9 Mathematics. Can you still remember this product? If you do, can you help me find the product of the indicated expressions so that we can have the answer for the following expressions? Thank you so much! Do you think the given products are polynomials? If yes, what do you think are the following characteristics do these polynomials have? What mathematical concepts or principles did you apply from this expression? Well done! We are now a step closer to our lesson for today. Let us now have another activity that will exercise your brain and enhance your memory. Are you ready for this? Here are some different kinds of equations. Identify which among these equations are linear and which are not. Which of the following equations are not linear? Why? How does this equation differ from that of linear equations? Very good! The following are linear equations. What common characteristics do these equations have? Thank you so much for participating in our activity. Now, do you think what will be our lesson for today? Very good! We will be talking about another type of equation. But what type of equation would it be? This will be quadratic equation. Today, we are going to illustrate quadratic equation. And of course, we are going to transform quadratic equation to standard form and identify the values of A, B, and C. Come and follow me. Let us look for the meaning and let us learn about quadratic equations. <laughs> Whew, I feel tired but it's okay because it's all worth it. I have located where is quadratic equation. But I don't know what does it mean. Can you help me find the meaning of quadratic equation? Thank you so much! Now, can you give me the definition of a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 in which it can be written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0. In the equation, ax squared is what we call the quadratic term, bx is the linear term, and c is a constant term. Now, we have fully learned and understand the concept of quadratic equation. Don't forget that a quadratic equation contains a degree 2, and it has a standard form which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here are some examples of a quadratic equation, but there are some examples that are not written in standard form. Let me show you some of those examples and let us try to transform it to standard equation. Here is another example of a quadratic equation, but it is not written in standard form. All you have to do is apply your understanding and the concept about multiplying monomial and binomials. And don't forget to equate it with zero so that the equation will be complete. And here is now the standard equation. Then we will identify the values of A, B, and C from the standard equation. So here it is. Here is another example. Now, we will identify the values of A, B, 
and C. I have a little problem. I don't know how to identify quadratic equation from that of different equations. Can you help me identify which of the following equations are quadratic and which are not? Thank you so much. Now, help me and I let us all identify which are quadratic and which are not. Wow, thank you so much. Very good. We have all identified which are quadratic equations and which are not quadratic equations. But along the way, there are some equations that are not written in standard form. Help me transform those equations in standard form. Now let us set the following equation into standard form to illustrate what is quadratic equation. And help me also identify the values of A, B, and C. We've made it. Thank you so much for your cooperation. I hope you have learned something from me, especially in the illustration of quadratic equation. Thank you so much, everyone, and see you to our next lesson. Bye!